feels a lot like pressing your fingers into a rock. The keys are well-sized and well-located, but have just 1.1 mm of vertical travel, far below the 1.5 mm to 2 mm we like to see. However, laptops such as the 12-inch MacBook Air manage to provide pleasant, snappy tactile feedback in spite of their short travel by offering some resistance. Unfortunately, the Vioz's keys require only 50 grams of force to actuate 55 to 60 grams is typical which means touch typists will find themselves bottoming out or hitting the keyboard base with a lot of force. When I performed the 10 fast fingers typing test on the Vioz filled, I had a whopping 10% error rate and reached the speed of just 82 words per minute, whereas my typical scores are 95 WPM and 1 to 2%. Because of the weak feedback, I found myself missing a lot of letters and, worse, my fingers felt a bit sore from bottoming out so much. The 4.2x 2.6 inch touchpad is comfortable but suffered from accuracy issues in our testing. The first review unit we received had an extremely jumpy pad. As I moved across the screen, the cursor would sometimes teleport itself several pixels ahead of where I was moving. Bio then sent us a second model on which the pad wasn't jumpy but was occasionally sticky. It stopped the pointer for a second or two when we were drawing figure dates in paint or navigating across the desktop. Because both review units we received are pre-production models, we can't tell whether these problems were single-time manufacturing defects, driver issues that could be fixed with a software update or endemic problems any consumer would experience. Unlike with many touchpads, on both units the cursor was stable when I double-click. The Vioz responded immediately and consistently to multi-touch gestures such as pinch to zoom and three finger swipe to minimize windows. The pads matte my kit texture also felt pleasant against my fingers, offering just enough.